Welcome back. Dirty Water, Coins and Collectibles here. We got a Penny Hunt. We have Circulated Rolls. It looks pretty good. Uh, we do have... I saw a Canadian in here somewhere. Where is it? Right here. I did not flip any of these. I don't know if there's any Enders. But uh, let's get into it. See if we can't find any varieties, any wheats, uh, King George's, proofs, anything cool. Let's get into it. I'll bring you back with the first find. All right, just flattened out roll number one. And we have our first wheat scent, 1953, out of Philly. Looks pretty normal. Let's keep the hunt going. Roll number three, and I have two Wheaties reverse facing staring at me. So I have one here and one here. Where am I? Right there. Okay, so we have a 1956 out of Denver, actually in pretty decent shape. And a 1952. 350 so far. Let's keep the hunt going. Roll number four. And we have two Wheaties again. 53 there. And I'm not sure what this one is. Hey, we got our first 40s. We have a 1948. And a 1953. Both out of Philly. One clearly more damaged than the other. All right, let's keep it going. Good amount of wheat so far. See you in a second. All right, roll five. Got another Wheaty. 1957 Denver. Let's go. If I have anything else, I'll bring you in. See you in a second. Still roll five. We got a beat up weedy. Ooh, looks like a 1942. Yeah. Yeah, that one's, that one's rough. Let's keep it going. Roll number six, and I almost missed this one. We have a 1956 out of Philly. Actually in really nice shape. All right, let's keep it going. Good amount of Wheaties. Hopefully we can keep it up. Maybe find a error or a variety here. All right, I'm on roll number 12. And I have a 1983 under the scope. I don't have the DDR or the DDO, but I want to show you Got a couple of cool little die cracks. So we have a small, thin one right here, and a nice size one right here. Just pretty cool. That's not why I'm bringing you in. So on the there's a 1990 coin that next to the FG there's this circle, and it's a a UFO variety, meaning they it's it's kind of unidentifiable. I don't know what caused the metal anomaly and on this we have a pretty much perfect circle um i don't think it's glue it looks like the same color as the metal let me know what you guys think i don't think it's a plating blister i mean let me take it down for a second and I don't know if I can see where it even is. Where are we here? It's definitely raised. I can't tell what that is. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
that's a extra metal again I don't think it's a plating blister I think it's I don't know, it looks too solid I could be wrong uh, I'm gonna keep the hunt going let me know down in the comments what you think about the 83 dot be right back all right we're on roll number 18 and we finally have another wheat scent it's back here All right, what do we have? 40s? Be nice if it was like a 30s or a 20s. 45S. Looks like it's got some damage. Uh, maybe lamination. Let's put it under the scope. We'll find out. Looks like it's probably some lamination. Minor lamb, maybe some damage too. All right, let's keep it going. Just flattened out roll 20. We have our next wheat scent. 1929. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at the 20s. Is she in decent shape too? All right. That's a great find. Let's keep it going. Be right back. Still on roll 20. I have a 2023 under the scope with a DDR number one. So you can see doubling in the U, on the N, and the I, the T, the E, the D. Pretty much all the way around. The T, the A, the T, the E. Doesn't show up much on the S. The F of of, down the bottom of the A, M, E, R, I, and the A, and the J, F, M is thicker. So that's a cool find. Let's keep it going. All right, roll 21 is going to give us two more wheats, at least reverse facing wheats. So I have one here. One on the back that looks like it could be old. Let's see. Maybe not. Let's see. What do we got? Of course, it's a 44. And then this, 49. All right. Bring you back with the next find. Just flattened out roll 23. We have a foreign Canadian, it's our second. We have a reverse weedy. What do we have? Reverse looks like it's in decent shape. 1946. And this one here had the same color as a weedy, let's see. Yeah, look at that, 41. We can check this for doubling. Don't see anything there. Don't see anything there. And nothing there. All right, let's keep it going. All right, I'm still on roll 23. And under the scope, we have a really worn weedy. You can see here. And I think... I can't tell. I, I think it's a 1911. So you see the 1. You see the 9. The 1. And it looks like a 1. I don't think that's a 7. Although it has a little, I don't know, it looks like it has a little curl to it. It's either a 1911. sixteen. I don't know. I don't have my scope available. Not my scope, my loop. It's in my jacket. Let me know what you think. Let me shut the light off here. Let's try to angle it like this. That doesn't help that way. Maybe a 16? I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Well, we have a, a teens weedy. 
Roll 24. Another weedy. I'm going to go with 50s on this one. Nineteen fifty-eight. All right. I didn't see anything else that appeared to be a weedy. Let's keep it going. Roll twenty-seven gives us another wheat scent. Let's see right here. And we have nineteen thirty-six. Sweet. Let's check that for the DDO. And that's a no. Negative. All right. It gives us a 30s fine, though, which is awesome. So we do have teens, 20s, now with 30, 40s, and 50s. Be right back. Roll number 29. And I think we have a weedy right here. It was kind of tough for me to see. It's in pretty rough shape. We do have a weedy. 1957, Denver. Didn't see anything else jumping out at me. Let's keep it going. All right, roll 30. And we have two weedies. We have one right here. It's like a 1935. We have another one all the way in the back. That's like our third uh, roll. I was going to say row. Third roll in a row with a weedy in the back like that. This one looks newer. 40s. Oops. Wow. All right. 1939. That's in great shape. Look at the wheat stalks on that. It's got great detail. All right, let's keep it going. Doing great with the wheats. Bring you back in on our next find. Roll number 34 gives us a weedy at the opposite end. Let's see what we have. 1944. All right, let's keep it going. Still looking for any kind of errors or varieties. Coming up short. But we are doing well on the the wheat front. Be right back. Roll 42. We have another weedy. 1955. Looks like that could be the poor man's double die. I think so. We have some machine doubling right down in here uh, in this condition not really worth much let's keep it going roll number 49 gives us our next wheat scent and it's not all the way at the back what do we have a 1945 all right be right back. All right, that does it for our uh, penny hunt. One box hunted, 50 rolls. Let's go through our finds. It actually was a pretty good hunt for uh, wheats. Not so great for errors and varieties, but let's go through them. Up here we have our foreigns, all Canadians. 73, 73, 76, 81, 82, 85, 88, and a 98. This one I had held aside as an oddity. It's got like some sort of reflective tape on it, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, can't really tell here, but it was weird. So I held that one aside just as an oddity. We have a nice 1971S. We have an early childhood. I believe a 1911 Weedy. A 1929 Weedy. A 35, 36, and a 39 Weedy. We have a 41. I think that was a 43. A couple 44s. Oh, that's a 42. I can see it here. A couple 44s. 45. 45 San Francisco. 46, 48, and a 49. 
50s, we had a 52, 53, another 53, a 55, 56, 56 Denvers, 57, 57 Denvers, and a 58. And then we also had our 1983 with a couple of die cracks. And our uh, 2023 DDR. So there you have it. If you made it through this video, you enjoyed it at all, uh, you think you might watch more, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. For those of you who are subscribed and you keep coming back, I thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you for commenting and uh, joining in on the videos. Uh, please, please, please hit that like button. I have noticed other videos that get a lot of likes, they get way more views. So if you don't mind, please hit that like button. Again, I thank you all for watching. See you on the next one.